Hey guys, Arctic here bringing you guys a gameplay commentary. I'm playing some COD 4. And um, yeah, this game, dang, I haven't played in so long. And I was like, you know what? Call of Duty is why most of my subscribers are here. I don't know, I'm going to say half for COD and then half for just for, uh, you know, every other video, that kind of thing. And I was like, let me play some Call of Duty. So you're going to see some Call of Duty 4 gameplay. I'm using the AK, just playing lots of different maps. And, you know, I was kind of wondering the other day why Call of Duty is always considered the best Call of Duty. You know what I mean? Because people are always saying that. People always mean it, people are saying Call of Duty 4 is the best COD to ever be released, you know what I mean? So, what I did was, I looked at it, you know what I mean? I looked at Call of Duty 4, I looked at it and said, alright, let's see, what has made this game so amazing? And after looking at it, I realized something, that there's two parts to it being the best game or the favorite Call of Duty. One is the fact that it's very, very balanced, you know what I mean? There's not, I don't really find any aspects in the game to be way more powerful than anything else. Some people say Marty Dumb, some people say uh, Jug, I don't know if Jug, Jug, I think I'm pretty sure Jug's in this game, but that, that kind of thing, people say like those kind of things are things that are overpowered, right? But everything else is just, there's a balance to it, and there's no, no time when you die, for me at least, when I die that I get mad at the game, you know? If, if I can blame something, if I have a reason to blame, you know what I mean, whenever I die, that means that usually there's something probably wrong with the game. If I die and it's like, wow game, really? That kind of thing is like, I couldn't control that death. That is like the death of all games. Any game will not last a super long time if you can somehow blame an aspect or a death on the fact that the game is incorrectly done. Even in this game, I barely get no regs, I barely get that kind of thing. Um, my shots register and that's pretty much it, you know? It, there's no time when I die, it's not my fault. And that what that does is lead you to be a better player First of all, because, you know, you're forced to increase. There's no, there's no sense of hopelessness. You know what I mean? There's no sense of, you know what? There's nothing I can do about this kind of thing. So there's nothing to improve. There's nothing for me to go after in order for me to stop dying that way. You know what I mean? Because if lag kills me, there's no way unless, I mean, even if you have no way to improve your lag, then there's no way for you to push yourself to improve at the game. And with no lag in the game you push yourself to improve your aim you push yourself to improve you know your tactics in that kind of way in order to increase you know or decrease the amount of deaths you get and increase your kills that's why i feel that the game like this is so perfect and also the second part of it is the fact that call of duty 4 was one of the hugest you know hugest games that of its time when it came out everyone had it you know what i mean everybody had it you know so a lot of people have cards cards now but a lot of people buy them but not a lot of people play them as much anymore at least in my environment that i'm in but for call of duty 4 and when it came out i know that everyone i knew had it everyone i even ran into had call of duty 4 played call of duty 4 on the dl you know that kind of thing and when a game comes out like that and people play it for years not only just through mono warfare not through first cod they also played it through black ops they played it through modern warfare 2 they played it through world i played call of duty 4 through world at war through modern warfare 2 and through black ops you know what i mean so people played the game for so long and continued to have fun on it that it left them psychologically believing that this is the best COD that there will ever be. People might not give the newest CODs a chance. I feel as if they haven't gained their uh, their spot to be the best. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Airway, signing out.